So Mark has just kind of been lending a helping hand. So that's why you don't see him with me. He's actually helping a friend that needs help much more than I do. So I kicked him out and I said, I've got this. I've got this under control. You go help your friend. Good Sunday morning. Are you guys getting sick of this? It's like the same, it's like Groundhog Day. I'm sorry. I had no lambs born yesterday, so I'm not really sure what to expect this morning. I almost for half a second thought about setting my alarm for like an hour, an hour, hour and a half later because last night we had a Christmas party at a friend's place. We actually left in good time because Mark is exhausted, I am exhausted, and although we want, we could have stayed forever, uh, we shut her down and we were home by we were home by midnight. The nights are just too short when you have to still be functional the next day So we we kind of bailed. What are you thinking today? I can hear them they can hear me There's some days that are just Hard to get going today is one of those. Oh my god. It's so foggy My favorite time of day. Well, my barn is still soaking wet. But the animals are dry and happy. Turns out I could have stayed in bed after all. No lambs again. Hi, popcorn. Pregnant life. The size of this girl. You are a wide load. I went back to the house so Chris could do chores and I'm just coming out to process this last you because still no lambs. I'm gonna get these guys done so I can put them in that pen. And then I'll just come and go all day just to see what we're dealing with. I'm gonna the barn is the barn is raining again. You can you can hear it if it was quieter. I can hear it. But this part of the barn is not. It's dry. So that's a good thing. We're we're under the chimneys now. What we've just been doing is bedding at night because there's no point doing it when it rains through the day.
You slippery little devil. You have a big fat tummy. Okay, now I'm just gonna take everything down so I can move these animals. Oh, that's heavy. I'm just gonna put it in this pen for now because it's a nice clean water pail, so I'll save that. So what I do is just kind of take out the rod, open the door, open this door. You stay out. Okay, I'm just gonna open that up. And then, Come on, you guys. Where you go? Follow mom. Follow mom. Follow mom. Where you go? Follow mom. Where you go, mom? That's it. Just like so. Stay out. Oh, she's a wily one. There. Now they get to hang out in the big pen. Much easier putting ewes out one at a time when there's not many in the pen. When I let them out into that big group, it's very, it's very confusing for them for a while. She's soon gonna realize she only has one. The other one's right there. We'll just watch them for a sec. So they smell, and she might start, she might start, yeah, there she goes, she's calling. She's calling for this one. There. Here it is, Mom. And then there were none. Crazy. You guys. Any day now. I did some quick math this morning, and uh, the group that lambed first, so the group, the older group in the pen by the middle center alley, they started lambing December 7th, which is their actual due date. So I did the math, 17 days from December 7th is December 24th, which is Christmas Eve day. So I would imagine I'm not gonna see any lambs today and tomorrow unless they're kind of off cycle uh, till Christmas Eve day and then it's supposed to start up again. So Christmas day could be busy. Uh, I could just be spending it out here, which is fine. Um, I don't mind working Christmas Day. Anyway, we'll see if my math is right. I'm curious as to if, uh, if that's what it would be. Carissa got me a huge gift, bit, uh, gift box of like, she said it's a, uh, it's called Gibson's Pure Honey. So it's a, uh, like an apiary kind of just down the road from her. So she got a whole, I love this stuff. Like I love, I love it when people send me stuff that they make. And um, I like supporting smaller, as I bought all my crap on Amazon. I love supporting local businesses and sharing the links and the descriptions. So I don't know if they have one. I don't see a website on their label. I'll Google it. Carissa said the lemon honey was to die for. And then I'm like, ooh, that would be really good in tea if you like honey in your tea. I like honey in my tea. So I'm going to see if they've got a link and I can put it in my description. And of course, I gotta show you this, because it's my favorite. Can you see that? We have a couple chocolate stores around where I live. One is in Stratford called Rio Thompson's, and the other is in Exeter, Exeter, Ontario, which I'm close to, and it's called uh, Sugar and Spice, and they make mint smoothies, and they are to die for. So Jess has already scooped out my basket, and she's already asked me if she could have the mint smoothies. I know I'm wearing my toque, and I actually don't even need to wear it, but it's my good luck lambing toque, so I don't take it off while I'm lambing. I am going to do a mid-afternoon check on this barn. I have to bed it if it's wet, if the raining has stopped. I want these lambs, uh, I gotta keep them dry, so I'm doing that right now. And then I might go check on Mark, maybe take him a hot chocolate, because they're out trying to get a new dryer fired up today. So for a friend, he's had a lot going on in the last few weeks, including having a little baby boy. So Mark has just kind of been lending a helping hand. So that's why you don't see him with me. He's actually helping a friend that needs help much more than I do. So I kicked him out and I said, I've got this. 
I've got this under control. You go help your friends. So that's where he is for everybody that's wondering why he's not out here. I actually prefer, he's not an animal guy. And some people are and some people aren't. He'll help me in a pinch, but sometimes I'd just rather him, uh, he can deal with plants and I will deal with animals. That's just the, that's how we roll. Let's see if this barn is done sweating for the day. Oh, it looks pretty dry. Mm. Oh, no. False alarm. It's still pretty wet. I don't think it's much worse. See the bed. Oh, it's not terrible. It's not too, too bad, actually. Not as bad as yesterday, for sure. Look at my baby. Chris has said she's drinking all on her own now. Or him. They look good. And the sun shining. Curtains are open like halfway. It is warm. It's nine and a half degrees in here. That is summer. Where's my new ones I got? Oh, here's mama. Hey, mama. Here's your babies. They're probably over there sleeping. I don't love that 89 right there. Uh, looks a little hunchy and and sunken in. So I'm gonna grab a bottle and try to feed it. They're just fine. Mom is feeding them well. I just didn't like the way that, I still don't like, love the way that lamb looks, but it's not dehydrated. So I just have to keep watching it. It won't take, it's not sucking real great on the bottle, which might not necessarily mean it's not hungry. It could mean it doesn't, it's got nipple confusion and won't take the bottle, which is bad. So I'll keep my eye on it. And I'll just do a little walk through here and make sure these ones look okay. Some purples, they look okay. Some purples by the water. They look okay. Put purple there. It seems okay. <laughs> They're healthy, it's crazy. Oh my God. These lambs, they just got so much spunk. I don't even want to say it because I've got 50 ewes left to lamb, but this feels like to me one of the best lambing groups I've ever had. Um, I'm usually plagued with stillborns and like lambs that I've missed and they die or like just constantly feeling like I'm behind or missing something or maybe it's just because I've like I've been here first thing in the morning I, I think that hour that I used to wait has made a huge difference I haven't had any mismothering just the one that rejected her lamb and I still think that's because I assisted the, the lambing I guess I can safely say so far I've been guessing right even if there's a few lambs born and I don't know who's who I've figured it out pretty quick and I think that's timing. I think I've been getting out here at the right time. So even if even if I'm not out here all night, like I know some people want me to be, um, I think having a few hours off at night, turning the lights off, I don't think they're that active. I think they're active very closely to when I turn on the lights. So I just think maybe my the management is kicking in. My feed is a lot better this year. And the one thing that I kind of fought on was adding this close-up supplement to my feed because I was I was actually kind of 
I was kind of upset about it because I thought our feed was good enough. Like on paper, everything looks fine. Protein looked good. Um, all the things look good. But the nutritionist where I get my feed, she's a lot smarter than I am. And when she came out and explained all the things that were in the uh, feed, I did fight it. I did fight putting it in. I thought it was an added expense we didn't really need. And she did say to me, it's going to be one of those things that's going to be hard to pinpoint what it is. You know, is it better colostrum? Is it better sized lambs? Do the lambs, are the lambs healthier when they're born? Do they, do they get born and pop up and start drinking? And those three things that she said happened. When Jamie was here the other day, I told him, I said, I have to apologize. You were right, I was wrong. And I'm so glad we did the pellet and I'll probably keep doing it. Now it's one of those things, I should have left a check group so I could compare and see if if part of the group, the, the group that didn't get it, if they, if they were as good as the ones that did get it. To be honest, it's hard to feed animals separate in this barn because um, it just kills your efficiency. So it's one of those things that I might just chalk it up to really good feed and a decision that I, I have to say I was wrong. I, I am so glad I did it begrudgingly. I'm glad I spent the money and I hope and pray I didn't just jinx myself for the last for the last part of this group. Um, if, you're, if you're superstitious like me, sometimes we don't like saying, we don't like getting too cocky because um, that's when stuff kind of goes sideways. I'm really happy with this lambing group, I have to say. I opened up this pen this afternoon, made it a little bigger for the bottle babies, and they're just jumping around. No, they have the whole pen, but <laughs> they, always stay, they always stay together.